Hello, this is going to be a very quick tutorial. This is based on my advanced Canon tutorial from uh, earlier, but um, I've decided that uh, that was more of an in-depth tutorial and you needed something probably a little bit quicker to try and get into it quicker. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create uh, a platform to base uh, an advanced Canon from. Um, all, right, all advanced Canons require an advanced firing piece. Uh, they require uh, some barrels, they require an ammo input feeder, some uh, some kind of autoloader and ammo clip are kind of not essential but kind of useful. So I'm going to just build it together and uh, just show you a really quick and easy one to make. So let's put the advanced firing piece down first and we'll connect it up with a few gauge increases. So gauge increases uh, obviously do what they say on the tin. Um, we've got a gauge of 236 millimeters now useful to remember 236 millimeters I'll come back to that in a bit next I'm going to place down uh, if I remember right what I'm getting a uh, ammo controller so ammo controllers are required to uh, provide the ammo to um, the weapon um, in this case I'm going to use a uh, 2 meter ammo uh, the 2 meter ammo is going to consist of four modules so you've got a single module here and double module here they're both exactly the same length but uh, you can pack more into one than the other. So I'm going to stick two down. So there's our two meter module. I'm going to go into it by pressing Q. Um, there's nothing along the bottom, so we've got an invalid design at the moment. So I'm going to replace the front with a, well, the front two. First one with an HE warhead body. And the second one, I'm going to change it from HE warhead body to a uh, AP capped head. Um, we've got 236 mil, so I'm going to set this to 236 mil. This doesn't actually set the gauge of the um, ammo; it's uh, simply information on what you require. So this states it requires three gauge increases, which we've already got. Uh, barrel length 4.4 and up to seven. So we're going to go with a seven meter one, and we need a one meter shell rack. So we're going to go with a one meter shell rack as well. Okay, so. Um, edit shell, there we go. So the shell's ready to go. So, very very quickly we're going to put this together. Um, so an auto loader, it, we've already determined that we can do it with one meter shells, so I'm going to use the uh, belt feeder auto loader. I'm going to place three along each side and on top of each I'm going to place a, uh, where is it? an ammo clip which is uh, one meter as well so uh, you'll notice that the ammo clips have an entrance and three exit points so I'm going to put the entrance point on the top here like so and there we go so you can increase the height as I've described in my uh, other advanced cannon tutorial so we now have three of these three of these uh, on both sides we need to use the ammo input feeder now attached to each of these, one, two, three, same on the other side, one, two, three, uh, not quite three, there we go. So now we've got our input feeder, I'm going to set them to our customizer here, so press Q on them, bring this up, select your modules, then force all intakes to this ammo source. We've now got that. So as from earlier, when we were on here, tells us the size down the bottom of the um, uh, where is it? Barrel that we require. We're going for a seven meter barrel. So I'm going to create a five plus two, and I say five plus two because you'll understand in a sec. One, two, three, four, five. So five standard barrel, and we're going to have a bore evacuator and a muzzle brake on the end. So that reduces um, recoil, and that one reduces uh, reload problems. Okay, so. As you can see we've got no shells loaded, that's because we haven't actually got any ammo on board, so I'm going to stick some ammo on board now. Um, ammo, ammo storage, ammo barrel, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. So, as you can see, uh, the um, ammo racks are slowly filling up, it tells you roughly how long it'll take to reload, it's 20 seconds of these. Bear in mind that it's set to be a bit quick fire. So it's going to take a little while for it to set. So while we're doing that, I'm going to finish up by giving us a, a cooldown and a recoil absorber. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the um, where is it gauge increase section. 
choose a left right split attach it to the back of this uh, stick a gauge cooling unit on both sides one two like so and uh, so that's produced our um, reload time slightly and also reduce the cooldown so it means that this thing doesn't overheat so quick and I'm also going to stick a uh, recoil absorber I'm going to stick a 2 meter one on here and there we go like that so now we just got to literally wait for it to load the ammo in uh, we've got a bit of ammo going in so this is this is looking good so far um, quick exploration of uh, other features so Q on there gives us extra bits our, our usual weapon GUI so we can select a slot uh, constraints if you want to add constraints barrel constraints so we can have up to six barrels overclocking if we want to have overclocking uh, under the railgun settings we can determine whether we want to use energy or not um, in this case there is no energy available so it doesn't have a railgun capability uh, railgun capabilities requires require electric let's come out of that uh, so let's just check the hydraulic recoil things appear to be able to attach to these I'm just going to check to see if you can which you can so you can attach these to any point that you've got a green point on so if you wanted to re uh, reduce your recoil from its current uh, where is it not there 30 shells racked in clip something is not quite right here because these should already be starting to load in and they're not. Perhaps bad configuration. We'll give it a bit longer. Um, so while it's doing that, um, it might be the belt auto feeders. belt fed auto loader okay so let's drop that down to three seconds apply to all so we have 38 shells racked in the clip and for some reason it's not going anywhere I don't use belt auto feeders normally so some suggestions in the comments would be great um, obviously if it starts working brilliant if it doesn't then I will just swap it out I think I'm going to do anyway. So let's remove our ammo clips, remove these, and replace the belt auto feeders with standard auto loaders. One, two, three. There we go, that's loaded it. Same on this side. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now we get the old um, input feeders again. One, two, three. It might be something to do with the direction of feed uh, on the auto loaders. Um, but anyway, so select force all case. There we go. So we now have a gun with a whole bunch of shells loaded. We should be able to fire this thing from now. So let's come out and have, give it a go. So we have a small amount of uh, movement, e even without a mantlet. So let's give it a go. That's uh, pretty good. It ha has a range of 2.3 kilometers currently with this design, and um, a 0.5 degree inaccuracy, 35,000 recoil force, and a cooldown of eight seconds. So cooldown of eight seconds basically means eight seconds before uh, you can fire again. So we can reduce that quite simply by adding more of these. So it's completely up to you how many of these things you put on how you put them on, where you put them on but now from 8.3 we've dropped it to oh we haven't dropped it from 8.3 at all that's what they're supposed to do that's why they're there you'd think, let's just fire again make sure so where's our numbers, oh there we go after firing the weaponry it tells you it's now 5.9 so there we go does reduce it, just doesn't update it until the weapon has actually been discharged. So there you have it, one fairly quick and easy uh, to make uh, auto cannon, auto cannon, advanced cannon even. Uh, you can convert it to a railgun. Please watch my other um, 
advanced Canon tutorial that will give you a much more advanced overview on how one of these can be built and what you can build with it and how they work. Thank you.